This is the chair of the prophet Elijah, as, and, and Amy is occupying it as a guest of Elijah <laughs> with the baby. And as our symbol of hope, we imagine that Elijah is present at the uh, birth of every child and whenever an infant is brought into the covenant. And that is because any infant has the potential to be the one who changes and redeems the world. So Elijah is going to announce when Elijah finds that right infant, mm -hmm. and hopefully we found her. Don't give that much responsibility. <laughs> Repeat after me, blessed be she, blessed be she who arrives who arise in God's name. In God's name. Great. We're gathered together to welcome the daughter of Jeremy David Bradford and Debbie Bradford into the covenant of Israel. This is by no means the first time that we have so gathered. It's written in the Bible that all of us were present at Mount Sinai and the, uh, the tradition makes it clear that that means not only those who were present that day but all those who have spirits and souls were present that day together to make that covenant and that included Eliana. Yeah, you were there. <laughs> and all of us, we were also there. So we honor this covenant because our ancestors agreed to it, but also because we ourselves agreed to it. And in our mind's eye, whenever we do something good, whenever we are, whenever we are entering into a covenant, or whenever we are helping one another in sorrow, sometimes in joy always, in sadness, sometimes in celebration, we stand again at Mount Sinai, as we do now. So, would you repeat after me now? May we. May, May we. we. You don't even know what you're saying. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what you're saying. It's great. Like all those, like like all those, like all those who gathered at Sinai. Who gathered at Sinai. Gathered at Sinai. Bear within us. Bear within us. The awareness. The awareness. Of God's promise. Of God's promise. Of God's promise. You shall be. You shall be. To me. To me. A kingdom of priests. A kingdom of priests. And a holy community. And a holy community. That's fabulous. That's 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 <laughs> Our sages taught us that it takes three to make a baby. Not only do the parents have to be willing, the mom and the dad, but also God has to be willing. And legend has it that before each birth, God takes the soul out of the heavenly treasury of souls, and an angel is assigned to that soul, and that soul is then shown all the beauty of heaven and all the, thing, the things that come from being good on earth. And then the angel whispers to the soul all the bad that could come and where punishment would take place. And then after the soul has been instructed in the good and in the bad, God uh, comes along and the angel touches the soul on the lip, just on the top of the lip leaving it behind a little crease mm -hmm. that's the only memory we have of heaven. Mm -hmm. And that memory always stays with us for the rest of our life. And with that, God blesses the child and sends the soul to her mother's womb. No blessing could offer, that's no blessing we could offer could be sweeter than that, of course. Oh, We're hungry is good. <laughs> Pacifier only works for me. Like a Bradford, right? <laughs> so when we praise our children, or we instruct them, or when we celebrate with them, we're gently reminding their souls of the many blessings that the angel taught them. And we are their parents, their grandparents, their aunts, their uncles, their cousins, their friends. But God, too, is always their parent, their grandparent aunt, uncle, cousin, and friend. In this world, no one is ever alone. No one is ever unloved. For the mystery of creation and for the covenant and its good instruction, for the companionship and love, 
for warmth of family and for the joy and sacred privilege of parenthood, we thank God, the source of life. Jeremy and Debbie, would you say after me? We joyfully, we joyfully bring our daughter, bring our daughter into the covenant, into the, covenant the, the agreement, the agreement between, God between God and humanity, and humanity. The, contract the contract that binds, that binds heaven and earth, heaven and earth together. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshanu Mitzvotah V'tzivanu L'Hakmisa B'Vrit Am Yisrael We praise you, Adonai our God, Sovereign of the Universe, you hail us with mitzvot and command us to bring our daughter into the Holy Covenant. Eloheinu Ve'elohei Avoteinu V'imoteinu Our God, God of our mothers and fathers, Kayem Et HaYalda Hazot L'Aviha Ulima Sustain this child through her parents' loving care Vayikare Shma Yisrael Eliana, Bat Yirmiyahu Udvora, and let her be known as Eliana H, <laughs> and in Hebrew as Eliana. Yismach Ha'av B'yotzei Chalatzav V'tagel Imah B'fri Fatna. Let her parents rejoice in her always. Zot Haktana G'dola Tihiyeh. Eliana is the small one whose greatness at this moment is all potential. May her name ever be a source of joy to her, to her parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, aunts, uncles, all of you guys, and cousins and all who love her. As they witness her coming into the covenant, may they lead her to worthy studies to a life filled with good deeds, and to a marriage blessed by God. And let us all say together. Amen. Name Eliana is definitely well chosen. Literally, it means my God answers, or my God has answered. It implies that our Eliana is the answer to a prayer. And in the Bible, children who are born in answer to a direct prayer are always special, always marked out for greatness. May it be so for Eliana, too. May her name ever remind her of God's beneficence and the spark within each of us that makes every human just a little bit more than human. Amen. May the one who blessed our ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Leah, and Rachel, bless Eliana. May her father and mother enjoy the privilege of raising her, teaching her, and helping her attain wisdom. May her hands and her heart be faithful in serving God. And let us say, Amen. Amen. We praise you, Adonai, our God, Sovereign of the Universe, Creator of the Fruit of the Vine. We're going to take a little wine and touch it to Eliana's lips, right? Don't make a mess I'm out of it. I'm doing my finger, right? Yeah, don't make a mess out of it. Jesus Christ, that's all okay. And Jeremy, you take a sip. And the three of you have shared. <laughs> and we're going to sing a traditional uh, 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 song of thank you, uh, something called the Shehachiyanu. Okay? Baruch talks about us and how lucky we all are to be standing here at this moment 
that we were enabled by God to reach this moment of great blessing. So if you want to say it after me, it's, it goes like this in English. We praise you, we praise you, praise you our God, our God, sovereign of the universe, sovereign of the universe, for keeping us in life, for keeping us in life, for sustaining us, for sustaining us, and for enabling us, and for enabling us to reach this joyous moment. To reach this joyous moment. And now the grandparents have a responsibility. Okay, so grandparents. Go to it. Our God, Our God, and God of all generations, generations, source of life and source of blessing. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait one second, one second. Find the page. <laughs> there you are. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's take it from the top. Ready? <laughs> sorry about that. Our God, God and God of all generations, source of life and source of blessing, we are grateful, grateful to you for new beginnings. beginnings. For the bond of life that opens new generations and links all generations together. May the gift of Eliana be a blessing. May our granddaughter's life imbue our life and the life of her parents with new meaning and happiness. May we ever rejoice with our children as we do today. And may our widening family continue to grow and prosper, united in health and strength, in harmony and in love. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Before is it appropriate for them to talk about Eliana's name and where it came from? I mean, sure. She's we named after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Want to do that for a moment? Let's do that for a moment. Sure. Um, they're going to talk about the Maybe derivation yes. yeah, of Ariana's name. Go. Uh, how we came up with it? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Um, so, <laughs> some of you uh, knew my great aunt Lisa, um, Carolyn Jones' mother, and uh, that is who Eliana is named after. It's her first name. Um, and her middle name comes from my mother's father, who some of you also knew, um, who was Leo H. Traeger because he didn't have a middle name, and so he chose one for himself when he was an adult, and that was the letter H. So now Eliana has the letter H as her middle name. <laughs> Which I'm particularly fond of because it's a important constant in cosmology, so. <laughs> Hubble's constant. <laughs> and her, there's another name, of, there's another meaning for, of her name in, I believe it's Arabic and Greek. Oh. Oh, I think it's in both, but they're, they're, uh, it's a daughter of the sun, too, which I also like to name. Um, I'm going to be singing a song called For Our Children that um, I wrote after my children were born and it is a blessing for our, all our children. Um, I pray in the song to Shehefi Yanu uh, I mean to um, <laughs> Shahina, excuse me. I pray to the Shahina, which is God's feminine presence which dwells here on earth amongst us. <sighs> this is my blessing for all my little ones. I pray to Shahina for all Watch. 
watch over them, care for them, touch them with love. May your eyes and your vision be as bright as the sun. May your heart find its mate and you to be as one. May you care. This is really almost the end of this, uh, this ceremony. It's, it's really a very special thing that they allowed me to do for them, um, to be both a grandfather and also to be able to, uh, to um, actually officiate at this ceremony is uh, due in no small part uh, to uh, uh, Manny Gold, who was one of the three rabbis who gave me my ordination. And so, Manny, I recognize the fact that Rabbi Manny Gold is with us uh, to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Watching over me, knowing that his reputation is on the line. <laughs> but seriously, it's a sacred privilege, and part of the the most important part of that privilege, I think, always is that uh, uh, being able to confer, uh, as it says in the Bible, uh, the priestly benediction, from uh, uh, which means that. Uh, I'm not, I'm just getting in the way, I'm an intermediary here, but God is actually doing the blessing. God says, you uh, can do this on my behalf any time there's an occasion to do it. And so this is the priestly benediction for all of you and for everyone, all at the same time. May God bless you and keep you. May God's presence be upon you and be gracious to you. Isa Adonai Panavilecha via Semcha Shalom. May God's presence rise up to meet you and bring you God's most precious gift, the gift of peace. Let us together say, Amen.